everyone, so this video is going to be a little overview of the kind of sheer and dewy foundations. Now, I have got quite oily skin and I always used to favour a matte foundation, but lately I've just been gravitating more towards the types of dewy, glowy finishes because I feel they look so much more natural and applied correctly and powdered, you can make them work for most skin types. The key is applying a mattifying primer, then using them and powdering and you still get that kind of nice luminosity and natural finish that they provide, um, but they won't kind of move around and make your skin look really greasy. So I'm gonna to talk to you about a couple today and I'm gonna do it in kind of terms of the coverage. So going from kind of light coverage to the heavier end. The first one that I'm gonna to talk to you about that's got a light coverage is the L'Oreal Nude Eau de Tint. This is a really, really light coverage, kind of between a tinted moisturizer and a very, very light coverage foundation. Packaging is really cute. Um, it just comes with this kind of little nozzle here. And as you can see, I don't know kind of how well it's gonna show up on camera, it's a very fluid, liquidy foundation. You have to really shake it before you use it. And you apply it and it feels very kind of silicone-y it's got almost a powdery texture to it, but on the skin it's very sheer and very pretty and also it kind of provides your skin with a nice base um, for those kind of no makeup days or Sundays, that type of thing. You know where you just want a very natural, pretty look, you don't want anything too in your face. This is a really, really nice product for that because it's very natural and pretty. I will insert a picture um, at the end maybe of kind of each of the foundations and me wearing them. So check out um, the end. Then the next one I've got is one of my all time favorites and this is Max Face and Body. Another foundation that if you listen, is very, very liquidy. This comes with kind of like a little nozzle which is quite handy and you can see here it's very liquidy the lid of this always gets really messy but a beautiful beautiful foundation it's very dewy it kind of almost needs to set on the skin so i kind of apply it with my fingers and then just let it settle on the skin for a couple of minutes and it almost feels like a little bit tacky but very very lovely and it's kind of like good skin in a bottle if you're tired this would be the foundation i'd go for because it really wakes your skin up and it makes your skin appear really kind of alive and fresh again and it's just a very very beautiful beautiful foundation i will put a video um, down below where i did a kind of full review of this and me applying it and that kind of thing because it's a really really great great product then the kind of medium coverage um, end of the spectrum. I have got two here. The first one is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. I have got a full review of this as well, which I will link down below, but this has just got one of those kind of, um, no, what do you call this, like a kind of hole thing where it's got no pump. Lovely, lovely foundation. I wasn't too keen on it at first, but I think you do have to apply it with a brush and you have to kind of build it up. It doesn't last tremendously well on the skin, this one I've noticed, and it does go quite shiny towards the end of the day, but it's a very pretty, nice, everyday foundation. Great for spring as well, because it's that kind of transition where you don't want to wear something that's too dewy, but you want something that's kind of natural and pretty. It's this foundation. It's got a kind of medium to kind of light to medium finish I'd say and the the kind of finish on the skin that it gives as well is a nice luminous finish but it's not shimmery or shiny at all it's a very very nice foundation and then the other one I've got is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique and this is the light diffusing foundation this is very pretty because this offers a kind of nice lit from within type of look and I think this would probably be nice during the cooler months as well because it has got kind of medium coverage and it's very pretty and it can be applied lightly and you can kind of build it up to get a decent amount of coverage but it will still look kind of quite glowy and pretty and it makes your skin look really nice and healthy. So this is kind of a, this is one that like I, th like I said you could probably wear in the winter as well, like another one I'm going to mention in a minute but it's a very very pretty foundation that helps your skin look like you are glowing from within. It's not shiny or kind of um, dewy in the same way that Mac Face and Body is. It's a more understated dewy, but it is very much a kind of glow from within your skin. And then, last but not least, I have got two that I really like. The first one is the Avon Luxe, um, what's this called? Silken Foundation. <coughs> Packaging of this is beautiful, it's very YSL. The gold pump, I love everything about this, and I am gonna, in fact, buy myself another one of these in a light, in a darker shade. But very, very, very nice foundation. In fact, I will pump some onto my hand to show you. 
haven't used this for ages. I used it all winter and then kind of before Christmas time and then I stopped because the shade was just a bit too light for me. But if I rub this in, you can see the finish of it is just a very nice dewy finish. It just looks very pretty on the skin, very natural. It does need to powder and it can get a bit oily towards the end of the day. And it's a nice medium coverage, but it's a very pretty foundation. I know I keep saying pretty, but it smells lovely there as well. It smells really fruity. But there isn't another way to describe it. I like that kind of glowy, juicy skin look. If you don't like that look, then none of these will be for you really. But I really enjoy that look and I think it's a much more flattering, youthful type of look. Not that, you know, I need to worry about that just yet. But the next one is the Revlon Healthy Mi um, Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. This, again, really nice. Comes with a pump, glass bottle, nice and compact. And it actually says it evens and revives the complexion. It's a gel foundation, um, and again, it's just a very pretty type of product. I've got it in the shade 56, and I've got some on my hands here, and I'll rub it in to show you. It's just a kind of nice, luminous finish. It's a nice amount of coverage. It's just very medium, but buildable. Powdered, the lasting power is nice. It doesn't settle into kind of the area here which I find some foundations can and it just looks very very pretty and very natural every time I wear this people kind of always comment on how nice my skin looks and it looks very very natural and this is a great great buy I love all the foundations I've mentioned actually kind of I think all of them are really really great standout products but that is like I said because I prefer that type of finish it's just a finish that I find more flattering so I would love to know in the comments below what your favorite kind of um dewy or sheer foundations can be. I kind of should have maybe separated them into sheer and dewy, but then I only had two sheer ones, so maybe not. Um, but I'd love to know what your recommendations are. I know a lot of people love NARS Sheer Glow, but to me that isn't particularly glowy, and it's definitely, definitely not a kind of sheer coverage at all. It's quite a medium to heavy coverage so I didn't include it in this video but I do love that one but I'd love to know your recommendations and um, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you've got any other video requests then let me know in the comments as well